That was quite an eerie And humming filled the air Extreme that the children knew Their father wasn't there So they quickly grabbed the crystal And took off with it fast With Phil and Nancy chasing them And boy, that pair was nasty Let's go, Betty and George We need to do help you You gotta pull through Come on, Betty and George The three of you can win Well, Slash again was a problem And that you'll have to fix The Slasher Jones and Maggot They are full of rotten tricks They try at any moment Using any way they can To stop you getting on with it And doing what you plan Get yourself together. You can be replaced, you know. Yeah, soaking hands if there's a good microsurgeon about. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Let's get on with it. Right, efficient. Fast and accurate this time. Metal cone. Metal cone. Fast and accurate. Where is it? Fatty, we haven't found one yet. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on, we'll go and look for one then. smashing bottles again, and I shall be calling the police. So clear off, huh? You better watch it or we'll come round and smash your windows. Oh, aye. And I shall know just who to send the police after, won't I? I'll be seeing your dad down the pub tonight, young Randall, so you keep a civil tongue on your head. All right. Range now, 50 feet. <laughs> Totally destroyed, men, sir. Mopping up operations commence now.
I, I think you had better go and stand back over by the fence. I think maybe we had better send for the police. Gentle with it, Fatty. What if it's dangerous? Type triple X seventeen. High explosive. Handled extreme caution. Oh come on, Fatty, be a bit careful. If it explodes, we all go up. It's probably a dud. What if it isn't? Oh, it is a dud, George. Now shut up. Yeah, nobody'd leave a real shot on an empty block of land. What we need is a sledgehammer. Then we can smash it open. Yeah. Bert's got one. We can take it up there. Give us a hand, lift it. ideas well uh, only that there were these kids here earlier um, making a nuisance of themselves smashing bottles they might have come back when I was on the telephone and seen it okay well tell me more about this bomb oh yes well it's a triple X 17 high explosive self-arming usually as safe as houses but uh, when they get old it can be a bit tricky I heard this one arm itself uh, it could go off any time you know Oh, well, I uh, did a bit with explosives during the war, you see, and guns and so on. I haven't seen one of those since, oh, 19, uh, 1945. And she'll pack a fair punch if she gets cranky. Yeah. Well, tell me about these kids. Uh, three of them, you reckon? Why, all boys, uh, just young teenagers. Proper daft lot, they were. One. Bird. Gentlemen, this is a crisis. This stolen bomb is a menace to every man, woman and child in this city. Our suspects are three teenage boys. Their descriptions have been circulated and it's only a matter of time. 
Meanwhile, I expect each one of you to do his duty. We will comb every inch of this city, evacuate it if we need to, and maintain law and order at all costs. Any questions? Then everyone to their posts. And remember, looters will be shot. I should like to send a message to all radio and TV stations. We interrupt this program for an important public announcement. Here is a statement from Commander Flag of Civil Defence. Today, a dangerous World War II bomb was stolen from a vacant block in Cameron Street. Police are anxious to interview three boys who were seen earlier throwing stones at bottles. The bomb is highly dangerous and if treated at all roughly, could explode without warning. That was a statement from command. Well, it wasn't my idea to start to make a bottle. Ah, uh, you busted just as many as after all. Now, are you? Not anywhere we can hide. No. Look, Doc, I've never asked you for nothing before. If you help us this time, we'll never touch you again. Promise. We've got to go in here, Slash. Right, get it.
newsroom. The bomb that disappeared from a vacant block of land this morning has been found in the possession of three children in an eastern shore suburb. Police and emergency service personnel are trying to convince the children to give it up, but they seem reluctant to do so. Friends of the children say that two of them are Andrew and Georgina Lockley, son and daughter of the scientist who disappeared this could be just recently. Just what in we need. Why doesn't he just shout? We'd be able to understand him better. Let's go down there. Good idea. We're coming down! They're scared of us, just like Slasher was. It's not us they're scared of. It's a bomb. Perfect. Great. We're going to be in trouble now. Ah, oh, don't worry. We didn't do anything wrong. I'll just explain and everything will be fine. Come let's go. Well, it was dangerous, certainly. And they were a bit stupid. But I think it's going too far to call them criminals. When we find them, we'll give them a good ticking off and that'll be it. Well, I think it's a little more serious than that, Inspector. They are criminals. They've stolen something very valuable from us and we want it back. Why didn't you come to see us sooner? Oh, well, we didn't want the law involved. We thought their guardians would help. But as you could see today, they've got no control over the children whatsoever. They're delinquents. They're up to something nasty. They're a secret hideout somewhere. We want you to find it and press charges of theft. Well, we'll do our best to find out all we can. If there's a case to charge them, then we will. Oh, yeah. Oh, much obliged. A bomb, of all things. I might have guessed. I suppose it would be knives and guns next and police at the door every second minute. Well, I won't stand for it. I've, I've had enough. I've told you before that if you can't settle down, I'll get the welfare to take you. And I think I've taken about as much as any man should. Don't interrupt. Tomorrow morning, I'm ringing the welfare people, getting them to take you until that irresponsible father of yours comes back from wherever it is he's gallivanting off to. But he can't get back. He's caught up in time. If you take us to the welfare now, we'll never be able to finish the machine. We'll never see him again. Don't give me that nonsense about being caught up in time. <laughs> he's probably lying in the sun on some island somewhere, laughing his head off about his stupid old father and all looking after his kids for him. He's probably... No, I'll go anything to get out of this room. Um, Captain Lawrence? We're investigating a complaint regarding your grandchildren, the Lockwoods. Serene, I'd like to speak to them, please. The complaint has come from your father's business part. They say that the children have stolen something. Can I come in and talk to them? Yes, come in. They're in the kitchen. If you want to get your dad back, hadn't you better get on with the machine? That's where the officer. Oh, policeman. Have you been getting into trouble, Dad? <laughs>
will be the first place the police will go. They're after you just as much as they're after us. We're on the run. 